after tracking COVID for many months at this lab. Janine Duplessis is bracing herself. Have you seen a lot more positive cases in the last few weeks? Yes, we have. First a trickle, then a flood. At the Witz Vida lab, they're studying a disturbing variant of an old foe. It's still too early to actually tell. There's so much that is so unknown about the variant. Everyone feels a little bit of hopelessness in a moment like that. This lab is really at the coalface of the COVID response. You know, they're expanding so fast, they're putting their samples in freezers right here in the hallway. They come in in shifts, and as this wave develops, they'll be operating 24 hours a day. They know how bad it gets. This was Delta's awful impact in Johannesburg. In July, patients stacked in hallways, struggling to breathe, in exclusive footage obtained by CNN. At the Witzwieder lab, and all across the globe, they're trying to understand whether Omicron is more transmissible, deadlier, whether it breaks through existing COVID-19 vaccines. What does it feel like that the entire world is hanging on this discovery that was figured out here initially? Yeah, so I, I mean, it, it, it can, it does feel a bit sort of surreal when you watch the news and you see the impact it's having globally and you're thinking, wow, you know, it's sort of affecting stock markets and, <laughs> and airlines and people's travel plans. Uh, you know, you kind of don't plan on having that sort of ripple effect. A spike in cases first happened in Pretoria with a cluster infection at this technical university. But hints of a new variant were first detected by scientists and pathologists at Lancet Laboratories. In early November, they spotted a strange anomaly in their positive PCR tests. Then it happened over and over again. It reminded them of tests for the Alpha variant, first detected more than a year ago in the UK. What was it like to see this anomaly cropping up again? Well, it was a bit dis disturbing because we, you know, made us worry that we were dealing with something new. Uh, and because it coincided with an increase in positivity rates, it made us worry that we could be dealing with a new variant. Lancet urgently notified South Africa's genomics team. Within days, they described and made public disturbing details of the highly mutated virus. Much of the world shut off travel from Southern Africa. And scientists here say they are now struggling to fly in critical reagent for their lab work to understand Omicron. Why was it so important to alert everybody about this? Especially with the reaction of the world to, to Southern Africa on the announcement of the variant. You know, a lot of people say, well, why don't you just keep quiet about what you find? But what's important is we know that a new variant is likely to cause an increase in cases, whether they be more severe or not. Now, the big question everyone's asking, is this more severe or not, or even less severe? Cases are rising, Brianna, in this part of the country rapidly, but at least at this stage, pathologists and doctors say they are noticing that it's not as serious as possibly earlier waves, though very much too early to say. It could take two to three weeks. The message here and around the world is get vaccinated if you haven't already, if you live in a country where you can get those vaccines and get a booster.